The weapon we're going over today is the best all-around weapon in Modern Warfare 2, the M4. This thing has a lot of mobility, a good amount of ammo, pretty good time to kill, no recoil, all around a very good weapon. This setup is so good we dropped the mother freaking MGB on the enemies. So I actually switched up my perks, I was like struggling to get a nuke even in like a pretty easy lobby. I for some reason couldn't get a nuke in this game and so I pretty much uh, went to my perks and I swapped out my ultimate perk from uh, I believe I had high alert and then I switched it to ghost because there's such a UAV spam in this game that literally the enemies are always going to know where you're at and the second I swapped this over to ghost I literally dropped the nuke. Then I actually swapped out my field upgrade from the dead silence over to the portable radar. Portable radar doesn't help that much but if you're playing hard point you can throw it next to the hard point it pings and then you see everyone in the hard point making it a little bit easier to wipe those out and then if you never know where the enemies are at you're sitting in like a building you're close to a nuke you can throw this down then you kind of know if someone's gonna flank you for the setup the tuning is still not in the game i would assume that they would have already added it back but for some reason they haven't they took it out because it was making people's game crash so the thing i want to start doing in the class setups is just to show you guys what the setup is looking like in the firing range so this is the base m4 it feels like there's a lot of mobility strike speed is pretty good and then the ADS speed is nice and then there's not much recoil like you can pretty much control it very easily a little bit of like left to right recoil and so to make that a little bit easier to control we are going to go over to the loadout and we are going to add the high tower 20 inch barrel we are also going to get more damage range and bolt velocity making this a pretty good weapon at range we are going to be losing a lot of our mobility but you shouldn't really notice it too much if we go back into the fire range you know you still have a pretty good ADS so you're not going to notice that I think it brings it down by like five or ten percent and this is just going to make the weapon so much more powerful oh my god we need more recoil control so on the muzzle we are going to go over to the f tech castle comp this is a very good muzzle if you're trying to reduce the recoil severely it's going to give you that horizontal and the vertical recoil control so if we go back into the fire range you guys will see this weapon is a lot easier to control as there's still a little bit of horizontal but we need to add a little aiming stability to remove like all the horizontal now there's just like a very easy to control vertical recoil that you should be able to beam the enemies and drop them within just a couple shots so now we are going to go over to the underbarrel aiming stability is massive in this game with the aiming idle sway they're pretty much simulating your character breathing so the gun's going to sway a little bit in the previous call of duties there would always be that sway but right when you fire your weapon the sway would stop in this game you're actually going to still have the idle sway in the middle of a gunfight which is going to give you uncontrollable like unpredictable recoil so if you add the shark fin this is going to add a lot of aiming stability making it so you're actually going to be able to control the recoil it's not going to have as much unpredictable recoil well, so we should be able to beam these enemies a little bit easier. Seems like the gun still kicks a little bit to the left. But you guys will see in the gameplay, I completely beam everyone and it doesn't matter. Next up for the stock. So I was running the buffer tube. I really like this one because it really makes the weapon feel like a uh, SMG. But you are going to have a little bit too much recoil to where you can't really use this at long range. So if I am playing on a smaller map, I'll actually usually just throw on the buffer tube. But 90% of the time, I'm going to be running the Tempest P80s, which is going to add a lot of strafe speed. And if you didn't know, you always want to strafe in every gunfight. So you get rotational aim assist and you are a harder target to hit. So if we go back into the firing range, you guys will see the strafe speed is going to be a lot better. And if there was weapon tuning in the game, this would be amazing because we could make the ADS strafe speed even higher. That was one thing I did on my other M4 setup, but uh, the other M4 setup feels a little bit weird now because the tuning isn't in the game. For the last attachment, you guys can run an optic if you want. For me with the M4, I find myself doing way better with just the iron sights. Oh, one optic that is going to be amazing that you guys need to unlock is level up your expedite shotgun to level 12. That is going to unlock a blue dot, very clean sight. And that's a sight that I haven't unlocked yet, but it's so nice that you need to unlock it. Since I'm not going to be running a sight on this build, I'm going to go over to the rear grip and I'm going to add the phantom grip just so i can rush a little bit more most of my setups are built for the more aggressive play styles just because i'm a pretty aggressive player say you do want more recoil control like you're playing invasion or ground war and you need to kill those enemies at long distance try out the support cp90 grip the only reason i don't like this one is because it's gonna hurt the ads speed a lot it doesn't help that much recoil control but like the phantom is gonna bring down that recoil control making it harder to use there is some other attachments like the socket is good for recoil control or you can go over to the stock and add like a recoil control I think the Demo Precision Elite Factory, this one's pretty good for recoil control. But overall, this is going to be my, my personal favorite setup. Go back into the firing range. This is the main build for the weapon. And just it just completely beams, boys. It is so sexy. You get so much straight speed. Here is the setup. And if you want more banger setups like this, consider subscribing to the channel with the notifications on. What the hell? Yeah, I think there was a guy in the hallway unless that was my teammate. The recoil control a lot of the time.
feel like I gotta put like a sentry gun on or something just so I can cover my flank. Because the Vito is so good, it just takes all your kills. There you go, boys. About to get the advance, too. Man's got a shotgun, I think. Holy shit, boys. The feeds. The feeds. Let's keep this up. We gotta push up. He's got a shotgun in there. Holy shit. Oh my god, boys. We are popping off. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh my god, beaming them like bad boy, beaming. Oh, brutal. Okay, boys, we need five more kills for the Nuki. Holy, the quad feeds. What are you doing, buddy? It looks like he has a pistol in his hand, too. Hey, Dad. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, boys. What a play. Here we go, we got the advance. Let's call this baby in. Got one dude in here. Buddy's shaking right now. Oh my god. Is that guy AFK or is he playing the game? Let's keep this up. Got to keep the momentum going. Oh, we're piecing. Okay, we only got six shots. Doesn't matter, boys. Doesn't matter. We're gonna call this Vito. Hopefully they go to shoot it down, then this is like so many free easy kills. The brutal boys, the 25, let's go. Let's keep this up. I don't know where these enemies are at, so I'm just gonna send this outskirts to limit where they can flank me from. Dude, okay, you're gonna chalk the nuke with that mic, dude. Advanced dude, dude is eating chips when I'm about to drop a nuke. Oh my gosh, boys, we got the MGB. Leave a like for that. Let's freaking go, boys. We might honestly be able to go for a double. Dude, this thing kills so quick, it's insane. You see that? Dude, can you get, calm the fuck down? Dude, it's fucking backing up a truck too. I just started hearing beeping sounds. Like, what the fuck? Are you playing on the highway? At work, on the job, playing the game? Probably rewired his dash so he can play Call of Duty in the truck. Oh my god. On dude's on a lunch break. Got Ninja Turtles. So I could just die and then get the second medal, like the second nuke. But I kind of want to see if I can go on like a 60 gun streak. Never mind, boys. Let's keep this up, though. Let's keep the momentum going. Hopefully, I don't accidentally call on this nuke. Oh, my God. What the hell? Enemy UAV? Oh, I got ghost, bitch. What are you doing? What are you doing? Making applesauce? 
Enemies, where are you guys at? Playing hide and seek now? It feels like Easter, Enemy looking for eggs. What are you doing? A UAV, this should help a lot. Copy. UAV. I got your back. Okay, we got the Beetle. Dude, the amount of times the Beetle's actually just landed on me is like not okay. Like I'll be close to a nuke and then all of a sudden I get blown up by my own Beetle. Like, dude, you're on my team. Let's uh, call on this Beetle. Let's call it... Or the nuke, you know, boys, let's go. Leave a like for that. We got the freaking nuke. Hopefully the gameplay wasn't too short. I wanted to go for another one, but, you know, my bot ass just called it in. Okay, let's go do the sexy inspect with the golden M4 with my butter-looking cheese stick. I don't know why my gold's glitched. Let's go, boys. Leave a like for that. Let's freaking go. Subscribe if you want to see daily nukes. Let's go. I should be live streaming today, probably 4 p.m. Pacific Standard when you are watching this. If you're watching, like, right when it came out. That dude's baked out of his mind. 54 and 3. Let's go.